Ah, bonjour, mademoiselle and gentleman. Which gentleman in France? You have a winery in France, do you not? The Shine no. family winery. No. Nestor, darling, that's French. Big, big French pot. We go in the kitchen and we go whisk, 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 whisk. Boom! Pastries all over your sweet table and into your mouth. Oh, oh. Yeah. so good. But we're not going to be baking. We're not gonna be baking today. We're gonna to be drawn from memory. We are not artists. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I am not an artist. <laughs> I am a former sketch boy. What does that mean? I took a lot of art courses and uh, actually. Uh, oh, dude, my yeah. parents were artists, it's in my blood. Do I carry the same trait? Probably not, based on past art. My art is in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got an assembly of childhood heroes of ours. Those that raised us and kept us warm in the darkest of days. I would only be able to do this by looking in my neighbor's window because we couldn't afford a TV or a house. I, by neighbor, I mean I lived in the dirt alley outside. I had to peep in. They had a big fence and I climbed over. But one time I caught a glimpse of Rocco's modern life and that, that shaped who I am to this day. I honestly, every time you tell these stories about how poor you are, picture you like hiding and sneaking around in like a, a cow pen or a pig pen, just like, oh, I just want to see. He doesn't know what cows are, Tyler. Yeah, what are cows? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm joined by Wingus and Dingus, and we are going to recreate these memories. And then we're going to be judged by Amy of who did the best job. Okay. How much time do we have? 90 seconds per drawing. <laughs> Are we ready? I'm ready. Are you? Yes. You tell me. Yes. Yeah. How's my hair? It's good. It's that good. wasn't very convincing. It's good. Okay, the time's gonna start as soon as I say what it is. Okay, okay. cool. Ready? Arnold from Hey Arnold. Remember? I mean, I didn't start off right either, but this is very uh, difficult. Halfway. Oh, God, no. No, no. No, no. Arnold! <laughs> he had long legs. Long, le oh, legs. Um. Time. <laughs> is he on his knees? No. <laughs> All right, let's go down the line. Arnold, he's got the football head. He's got, I remember his hair being slicked back for some reason, but that also reminds me of something, but I think that was the girl that liked him that had the bow. It's no bow. What's it's that? It's a hat. Oh, he did wear a hat, shit. And then he, he had his arms there, he had long legs, and they called him Arnold. They went, hey, Arnold. Remember from the show? Yeah, I remember, man. Yeah, I remember. Anyway, so that horrible baby there, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like Dash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> All right, come here. I'm going to show you something. On uh, my brain, how it works, it only remembers the most important features about everyone that I meet. Football, hat, blonde hair, had a two-layer sweater. I remember that very distinctly. I don't remember the color specifically, but I remember he always wore, like, a two-layer. Like, he had a button-up shirt. I think it was a red shirt over a green sweater, but I'm not 100% sure about that. I think he wore blue jeans, but I didn't have enough time. So that's what I think he looked like. All right. Arnold was hugely depicted by his yellow skin tone and the football-shaped head. He had like a dirty blonde hair. It was still blonde, but it also had some brown in it. He definitely wore blue jeans on the time. And I remember him from the sequence of, don't hit me, I'm crazy, I'll hit me, when he plays the boombox and dances and like punches himself in the face. Can we get to see what he looks like? I was right! Hey! Hey! You were right. The blue oh yeah! Hat. He had a kilt! That's right! Oh yeah, the no, kilt. I but he has blue jeans on underneath. It was a kilt. It was a, it was a, it was um it was his shirt Sweatshirt. coming below his yeah. it was, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I always it wrapped around his waist. Yeah. yeah! I always thought it was a kilt. I'm it. shockingly close. Are we picking right. winners for each one or no? Yeah, 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 wait, who won? Ethan's looks like the Rugrats kid. Oh. Yeah, Ethan's a loser. Ethan's a loser for sure. Ethan's look like Phil or Lil. Like I wouldn't guess Arnold. Oh yeah. That does. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you were thinking Rugrats. Tyler's, Tyler's reminds me of 
Um, oh, what was the show with the the treehouse? Oh, oh kids next door. Yeah, like kids. Yeah. Next door. Okay. Oh. I would I would guess Marks first, just because he has the collar the, the and the he has hat. the hat. Like it's not <laughs> the, the, the accurate, but I feel like that might be the only one that I would guess Arnold first. <laughs> you ready? Sandy from SpongeBob. Um, the main thing that I remembered was the suit. I remember it being this just very blocky, cylindrical thing, the boots, you know, the gloves were like mittens. The only thing I remember about the face was squirrels are kind of brown colored. And I think she had a bow, but I might be wrong. I might be wrong about that. But other than that, it's spot on. I just remember Sandy being the underwater squirrel in like an astronaut suit. She also lived in a bubble, but I couldn't get to that part where she lived in the bubble and had the water seal door. And like they said, this is the one when they went above water and it's the realistic look. Uh, it's uh, Dick Cheeks. The thing that nobody else has is her big chompers. Big, big chompy teeth is what she was known for. She had the bubble around her head, her suit. The, the tail, I believe, came out of her suit, which was something that, you know, really, you really gotta think about it, because, like, can water leak in? Because she couldn't be underwater, obviously, because she I don't think she had a tail. She did have I a tail. She's a big no, squirrel. No, she has, okay, she has a tail. What I'm saying is that her tail, I don't think it came out of the suit. I think it came out of the suit, because I watched that show a lot. I don't think it, I watched the show a lot, too. I right? thought you were poor. Mark, yeah, you're well, the only one with it. Everybody got it. Not out of the suit. <laughs> you're the what? only one with it not out of the suit. That doesn't mean that everyone else is right. I'm right, you're Mark, wrong. What? It was out of the suit. Yeah. Oh! oh! No! You were almost right, though. She didn't have a bow, she had like a no, flower. Like oh, yeah, colors. and on yeah. the board. It was on oh. the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Can, I appreciate that you used the whole campus. I think I like Tyler's the most. I think right. Tyler's is the most accurate. I get a big Sandy feel from Ethan if you finished it a little bit more. So I, 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 Teeth are good on Ethan. I, I, like, I like the suit on Mark. Yeah. The suit is good. The suit is good. Maybe but it's but a that, that, Maybe that it's Homer tie. Simpson look at uh, the I don't know if it's a tie. We can't actually. have ties. I don't no? think it's a tie. <laughs> no, it's a bow. <laughs> All, right. Yeah. All right, it's not a tie. Tyler loses. <laughs> you ready? Uh -huh. Yep. Johnny Bravo. Oh, hell yeah. Tyler, you go. Johnny Bravo distinctly had a black shirt, blue jean pants, his shades, and that wicked awesome front blonde hair spike. And he'd just be like, oh yeah, hair spike. Watch out. <laughs> it Watch looked like a spike. spike. What is that? <laughs> big ass arms, big ass teeth, big sunglasses, big hair, big legs. Everything about Johnny Bravo is big. Don't go back there. <laughs> <laughs> He's got blue jeans, black shirt, didn't have time to color it in. Shoes? You got a belt buckle and big muscles, big smile. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Okay. So the first feature I drew was the hair, because everyone knows the hair, right? But what not a lot of people know, you know, you get the basics like the hair, the shades, the small mouth. Get a kind of small mouth, but the triangular curvature of his torso. It not only was triangular, his but torso? it curved in. Yeah, his torso. It curved in. Because he was always forward. You know, he was always jutting what forward. What's that? Oh, you know what that is. <laughs> and also legs much smaller than, like, proportionally. Big arms. Whoa, mama. Whoa, ho, 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 mama. Close with the hair. Pretty good. Yeah, see, I know. He I know. has a he has a concave crotch instead of a con or a convex. 
It goes the opposite direction. Yeah, it goes it does. in. <laughs> I was giving it a bit more, you know. But you and Tyler got the torso, right? Yeah, the triangular torso. Well, but I got the swoop in. Mm -hmm. See, I think the Whoa Mama is what really sells it for I me. I was the only one that sold the nose. You also got the same teeth as Sandy did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who wins? I think Mark's close. Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay, Mark. You ready? ready? Okay, Kim Possible. Oh. Oh, I didn't watch this. Do, 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 do. That's too poor. Time. <laughs> Would you like to see? <laughs> beep, 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 beep. The classic song ringtone that you hear before your big mission. Whose mission? Kim Possible's mission. A few things about it. She replies, what's the sitch? First thing about her, she's got some big swoopy hair. Second thing, she had a long sleeve shirt that was also a little bit of a crop top a little bit. And then the classic, real baggy cargo pants that were green. This is me, I'm done here. Go ahead. Alright, okay, so... <laughs> I was far too poor to ever watch this show. <laughs> Um, so I never saw it. Uh, the only thing I think I remember was that she had brown hair. I didn't see your drawing before. The only thing I think I remember is that she had brown hair. Uh, I guess she had a hat, but I don't know. That's impossible. <laughs> I'm Kim. You know, that's impossible. I'm Kim. So other people go, go like, Kim Possible, and she can be sad. I don't know. <laughs> How does that look like Towley from South Park? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I think I was pretty close. I'm pretty sure I got I got a nail. What on. both of them neglected is when Kim goes on a mission, she wears all black. She also has red head. She's a red head, not brown haired, and she has green eyes. And she puts her hair back in a ponytail when she's on mission. Hey, I got oh. it pretty on point. Tyler got the hair, but Ethan got the whole outfit. I know, Ethan yeah. got No outfit. one did the mustache. Which is disappointing. Is it a mustache? It's not. No, it's really, an upper it really lip. Looks looks very like a very strong mustache. upper lip. Yeah, I got the mustache. Yeah. <laughs> Mark would won if the contest was Brave Little Toaster. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Ethan had the hair, but the color's wrong. But the shape uh, right, is right. right, right. Ethan's kind of looks like a Lego. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Who wins? I think Ethan might be better. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, I feel like that's unfair, but whatever. Why? Did you see mine? <laughs> you ready? It's Courage from Courage the Cowardly Dog. Oh, hell yeah. Starring Courage the Cowardly Dog! Whispering about over there? Oh, my back paper is so big and yeah. your hand is so small. <laughs> Time. Have any of you seen a dog before? Uh, I, forgot, I forgot the nose. <laughs> the first thing that jumped to mind was big bulging eyes. Does he have a hole in his tooth? He has a hole in his tooth. He does. Yeah, he does. Oh. Uh, I kind of forgot what a dog looked like halfway through. Uh, I tried to get the floppy ear and then uh, I forgot. This probably goes out to a snout or something. Yeah, but purple, purple fur, hole in tooth, big eyes. Little three pronged hands, and uh, yeah, he's been neutered. <laughs> <laughs> I think the biggest thing about Courage the Cowardly Dog is that his snout and his head is bigger than the rest of his body. He's got tiny little feet and tiny little arms. This is from the plant attack episode where plant tries to eat Courage, and uh, he, his eyes are red because he's freaked out and scared. And yes. Yeah. Here we have his big ears. He had big ears. He had big eyes. He always his his eyebrows were always like. Oh, he had his tongue sticking out. It also kind of looks like he's coughing up blood. That's okay. <laughs> Again, he had like a little cylindrical body, little tiny arms, and then I started to draw Eustace, but I didn't have time. Booga, booga, booga. Booga, booga, booga. But I only had time to draw his hat and a little bit of his head. I win! It's totally different depending on the pose. Ethan's got the ears. Tyler's Mark colors are pretty on point, yeah. though. Mark has the two. And Tyler had like the tiny limbs. I had the, I tiny, had the limbs. tiny limbs. Look! <laughs> Ethan's is, well, I'd say Ethan's is the most dog like, but that nose doesn't really make all sense. <laughs> hey, I got the tongue! Okay. Nobody else drew the big well, tongue. I, I have no it's idea still, on this still. one. We all lose! Yeah. Yeah, you guys all lose. But that's not. I mean, no one's is better than Fine, the other. Whatever. So we're gonna do Gur from Invader Zen.
that's commitment to the art. Fine. I remember Gurr from Invader Zim as always being like hungry. And so I remember him like drooling. I, I've watched maybe three episodes of Invader Zim and I just know he's like drooling and he has like a purple suit that he wears sometimes and he's green. Okay, I don't think he's, I don't think he's green. I think he has green eyes, but he's, he's a little robot. So I think he's like silverish or gray. And I think he goes ooh a lot, which is why the mouth is in ooh form. <laughs> and I couldn't recall if he had like an antenna or anything, but I drew him there, kind of just guessing. I think if he goes into battle mode, his eyes go red or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, something cool. like that. Either, either way, that's, it's pretty, pretty, pretty accurate, I'd say. Uh, I couldn't remember if he had blue skin or purple skin, so I put them both there. <laughs> you know, Brian Grabigli, he got his first part of his name from this, so I put Brian's intro thing, which is Gerbigly, and then his catchphrase is, let's play everything. So it depends on if he's wearing his little dog suit or not. Oh! Oh! That's right. But I got the robot form surprisingly got close. got the robot really good. Yeah, the wow! Two, the other two look more like Zim than Gur. Oh yeah, Zim. Oh yeah. Yeah, so oh, uh, yeah. I, I, I would say Mark got that. Because that, that's what you were thinking of. I was not thinking of that. No, it's just that. Alright. So, I think Mark's got it. That's three for me! A double D from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Oh god! Oh. It's a Daffy Duck. How did I do? <laughs> Time. Boom. I remember Double D having freckles. He's got like a very like wide, wide head. Uh, and then he had some sort of hat on, I couldn't remember. And then he was always like unsure about everything. He was always the one that didn't didn't really want to be doing stuff. And then he was always yelling at Ed or Eddie. Red shirt, beanie, never took it off. Loves jawbreakers just as much as the rest of them. Drooling at the sight, no muscle mass whatsoever. <laughs> Luscious Bill. <laughs> Maybe. Why did you say that so sexily? Maybe there's some Maybe. theories on forums I visit. <laughs> that double D is a duck. <laughs> yes. Red shirt, blue pants that were really baggy. He had buck teeth and was nerdy, and he wore a beanie, and he was a real scrawny guy, and he was not yelling at the other two. He was the more shy one than the other ones. Orange. Oh, purple orange. pants. <laughs> what? what? Uh, oh yeah. no. I think Tyler's the closest. That's yeah. just, that looks like some random kid. <laughs> Hold on, let me get closer because it's a little small. <laughs> Why do you draw so small? Because it takes a long time to cover a lot of space. What? No, it, what? Do you not see your bird feet? <laughs> what about my Johnny Bravo? He was fine. <laughs> Better than that. It took up the whole pet. You know what? Fine. Fine, whatever. You're gonna get two minutes for this one. Dexter and Dee Dee from oh. Dexter's Lab. And time. Um, I guess I'm first. <laughs> so the only thing I remember about Dexter, I love the show when I could watch it at the library. Um, <laughs> but I know that Bob's Minecraft avatar was based on Dexter. So I just tried to draw Bob <laughs> at the right height, and I know there was orange hair, and I remember these pointed boots, and that was about that was all I remember. Dee Dee, ballerina, so the pointed toe, I believe this is fourth position. Hands above the head, I couldn't remember the hair. That hair is correct. My hair is not correct. I will admit that, but everything else flawless about my approach. Dee Dee is supposed to be taller, so ignore the fact that this is there. But Dexter, in this sequence, is yelling at Dee Dee because Dee Dee's always messing with his stuff. And Dee Dee's like a ballerina dancing around. Uh, blonde hair distinctly has the, the bows. I can't remember if she's always pink, but I remember wearing blue in at least one episode. And Dexter's pants, for some reason I remember, are purple. So he always has the lab coat on. He always has the orange curly hair, his glasses, and lab coat, and the, the purple pants. Dexter is very, very small. He's got that orange hair. He's very mad because Dee Dee's messing, <laughs> messing with his stuff. Dee Dee towers above Dexter, always and forever. She's always running around with her arms up, doing ballerina things. He's very short and stub, uh, quite a chode of a boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, He's uh -huh. got his lab coat on, which you can see very clearly here because of the collar. Look at that collar. Mm. Yeah, uh, he's got his glasses, he's very angry. And then Dexter's, uh, 
Yeah, uh-huh. Tyler was close, but the gloves are purple, not the pants. Ah, oh, dang it! Oh, I got the tutu. Yeah, you had the best Didi. Oh yeah, the hair wasn't Didi. straight out. That's that's Helga's hair. Oh, um, also, he's saying Didi, Didi, Didi. <laughs> I think it's between Mark and Tyler. Or Mark's got the best Didi. Tyler's got the best Dexter. I think. I like yours the most, and, but... And Ethan has the best look of disappointment. Alright, you guys ready for this? <laughs> it's a fight, and it's between Link from uh, Zelda versus Oddjob from James Bond. And time. Mark, that's a pretty good odd job. Thank you. <laughs> Ajab wouldn't be in the scene fighting. He'd throw his hat and be Ooh. way off to the side, so Link would be standing there with his master sword having to defend against Ajab's hat. Wow. No. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> No, it's your turn. All right, here's Link. He's got big ass sword. Big ass sword. Boy, do I have an odd job. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I remember about odd job is not odd job himself, but the Austin Powers version of odd job. You know, is the his guy... name odd job? I don't know, but you know, I know that the Austin Powers version was making fun of odd job, and he was like a big kind of Asian guy with a bowler hat, and he would. But he threw a shoe in there, but I don't know. Anyway, he's floating. There's Link, he's got the hat, green, elf ears, doesn't talk, big master sword. Why is the sword veiny? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's the master sword. And uh, the tunic with like a kilt. Oh. I will say Ajab was very small, so you were definitely thinking the Austin Powers version. Um, they're all good guys. I just, I have to give it to Tyler, I think. Yeah. I mean, if we're talking a fight here, at least Ethan's isn't wearing the hat, which could imply that he threw it and then he missed. Mm. I don't think you should get credit for not drawing him, but whatever. I, whatever. I, do, I do like the angry turnip look that yeah. Link has. What this Link? Oh, Elf on the Shelf? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell who that is. That's like... It's Link. Yeah. <laughs> also, the Master Sword has a blue hood. I didn't have time. Odd job has a body. Where's odd job? He's off. Yeah. He's off over there. No, you can't say that, you lazy piece of crap. Wait, Mark. Artist like interpretation. Your odd job in his. <laughs> Wait, don't do the Where's hand motion. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Wait, so who wins? Tyler wins. I think Mark oh, might. Yeah, Mark I wins Mark the no, overall. He tied and gave Tyler so many other ones. <laughs> you all win. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. This is dumb, I hate it. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Thank you to Wingus and Dingus. Thank you guys who were screaming at the screen saying, oh, I remember them better. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Oh did you? Oh. oh. Are you zooming? Oh. oh. There we go. Anyway, check out Ethan at Crank Gameplays. Link in the description. He's on Twitch, Apocalypto underscore 12. Link in the description. Thanks everyone for watching. If you got other things you want us to do, let us know in the comments. Thanks again, and as always, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.